welcome friends to another video <clears throat> in this video i'll be showing how to install grafana that was that is on center 7 plus environment so grafana is basically is a visualization or a, a visualization framework where you can visualize or you can customize the dashboard and that sort of uh, i think that we'll see later on so for downloading you can just go to the grafana uh, website so here as you're saying grafana couple of uh, I think most of the companies they started adapting to Grafana based visualization and dashboard creation instead of creating their own so that uh, it was subsequently videos that we will see how to you know you know you know what is called create so much of uh, nice dashboards for your either machine learning data or any other data uh, time series data mostly that you can just um, visualize it okay so this is the download page for uh, Linux. There are a couple of other operating system also there. You can select either you, you can use the standard loan binaries, untar it, and you just start it. Go to the bin directory and start it, or start the service, or you can just duplicate the RPM and uh, do the installation. Duplicate will download the package uh, to my local uh, folder and then instead of doing sudo if you are sudo user otherwise if you are root you can directly convert to root become a root and then install yum install grafana that rpm and then it is asking for uh, uh, size like you can press as yes and installation is done pretty quickly with the, within fraction of second not fraction of second with a couple of seconds let's see what is rpm rpm minus key web grab that grafana and you can you can able to see you know that version proper. Okay, let's go to the default configuration. Configuration. Uh, I need to change the. Okay, let the data directory logs, plugins, and all the default directory keep it as such. And the server related configuration. Let's uh, change it to uh, something like the host name instead of local host. You can just uh, type uh, the uh, server name. Server name is currently uh, that is FGA. 128 mem 26 so we'll just replace that with uh, uh, the, the actual uh, server uh, name in that okay so where else is there it is the http address that to bind with the interface that will change it here and where else where else uh, okay i think there are a couple of more places that you can just uh, uh, change that okay okay I think I'm done modifying the configuration we should be get going with the how to start it is there any other thing that I should take care like the timeout everything no no not really what is the username password by the way okay let it be the default one i don't bother about that okay come on you are taking too much of time in configuration the default uh, okay i think it will give us an idea whether without uh, configuration without changing the configuration much you can start the service okay we'll go to the um, uh, grafana page and see how to start uh, you know start and stop the services i think these are mac was for Mac or for Windows, you can do that. It's the simplest way. For Linux, that we are interested is like uh, we we can use a system control, or restart Grafana hyphen server, or you can see the status like hyphen system control status and then Grafana hyphen server that you can do. So the server, as you can see, the server is inactive is dead. Let's try to restart the server. Okay, it's taking some time. It is starting without any verbos, like it is not displaying anything to the screen. Okay, there you go. I don't know whether it has started or not. How to do that? So let's do the status again. Let's check the status. I think status is should. Um, okay, come on. Type uh, the status. Like restart status. Yes. Once you see the status, the port number is 3000. And the machine name you know and then directly go to the browser and see the with the host name colon 3000 once you do that it will it will just um, uh, you know try to load it you see the grafana is dancing 
uh, it's preparing the background for us like the preparing the web uh, pages for us okay what is the password do i remember or have we read the password do you remember anyone admin admin one okay not okay let's go to the config files and see i think it should be at the end towards then yes there you go admin user is admin and admin password is also admin this is the default username password so you can always uh, it's better to change the password mm. okay i'm going i'm not gonna save that okay still it is not accessing i think i might have done it wrong let's let's type it correctly okay okay there you go it's dancing it's preparing for us come on show us the movie man you are just showing us the trailer we are waiting seeing the black blank screen you are dancing that's your nothing very good okay okay you are excited we are also excited mm -hmm. it's loading okay there you go and we got uh, the graph on a landing page okay we have not configured anything what it says in the welcome page you can see that uh, there are some tutorials that you can go through this the second one is you can add the first data source like any source you can add from any kind of db, DB like uh, prometheus graphite and flux db i think in flux db i have created another video how to install and uh, use it that is a time series db elastic shots also i i will show you how to do that and then mysql postgres uh, so many data sources that you can choose mongodb also i think okay we'll cover that in the subsequent videos stay tuned so that you can have uh, you know really use the grafana to visualize to create to analyze you know create a customized uh, dashboard very good like a nice view okay so that uh, is okay let's go through the what are the features that is currently showing okay this is the panels like you can add cost you know a couple of panels based upon your need like you can choose a graph or a, like a pie chart uh, or a bar chart or something like train chart and then you can also choose uh, a you know a table out of it whatever the data you have in the table okay this is as for admin configuration that we'll cover in the subsequent uh, uh, videos please stay tuned or uh, press the bell icon or subscribe so if you are interested in this uh, data visualization okay okay i think um, there is not much uh, here in the dashboard yeah i think a couple of dashboard that you can create you can manage you can create a playlist out of uh, many dashboards okay i think this is much uh, this is pretty much thanks thanks for watching the video stay tuned for upcoming ones like share and subscribe thank you and bye bye